Hey guys, I'm so excited because today I'm going to show you how to make pumpkin butterbeer hot chocolate. It's a Harry Potter themed recipe and if you read the blog you know that I'm a little bit obsessed with Harry Potter. It's my favorite movie. I named my cat Snape after Severus Snape from Harry Potter so I'm clearly a really big fan. All that said, I'm really excited about this hot chocolate. It's a little bit of a twist on butterbeer which I've actually never had but I'm doing my own thing on it and I'm using butterscotch and we're calling it butterbeer hot chocolate. So. Maybe not the same as they drink in Harry Potter, but it's close enough for me and there's chocolate, so yay! Um, so we just added the milk right to a pot. You need like four and a half cups. And then you're gonna add some butterscotch sauce. I just made my own butterscotch sauce. Um, it's really, really easy to make. You just need brown sugar, butter, and heavy cream, and I also like to add vanilla and bourbon to my butterscotch sauce. The bourbon can be completely optional, but I do think it adds some great flavor. So there's your butterscotch sauce. Um, you need some cocoa powder, and some pumpkin puree to give us that pumpkin flavor. Also makes it a little bit healthy, right? I mean, pumpkin, so like, you don't have to feel guilty about this. Um, some cinnamon kind of help uh, highlight that pumpkin flavor. A little bit of vanilla extract. I also really like to use vanilla beans sometimes, but this can be really expensive, so if you don't have vanilla beans or you don't want to use vanilla beans, vanilla extract works too. Um, some butter to kind of give that butter beer flavor. We're gonna use some real butter. And I also like to throw in some bourbon. Again, the bourbon's optional, but it's fun and it's Halloween and I say go for it. And then some milk chocolate. I actually like to use dark chocolate, but I ran out of dark chocolate and it's Friday, so I'm gonna go with the milk and just be extra bad today. And then that's it. And you just kind of stir it all up and then put it on the stove over low heat, medium to low heat, and you let it warm up and it's steaming and it's so good. So I'm just gonna go put this on the stove and then we're gonna make some whipped cream and I'm gonna show you these cute broomstick pretzels that I made. Okay, so my hot chocolate is sitting on the stove hey, warming up. Oh, look who Have it is! Have any treats for me? Do I what? Have any treats for me? Well, you know, we're making some hot chocolate. You love hot chocolate, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the hot chocolate's on the stove. We're making like a butterbeer hot chocolate from Harry Potter. You remember Harry Potter, right? We watched yeah. it that those nights. You're a Harry Potter fan now. I turned her into a Harry Potter fan, guys. She's pumped on it. Like, Harry Potter's her thing, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna make, you wanna help me make the whipped cream? Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay, so the whipped cream's really easy. You just need some heavy cream. We're gonna make it butterscotch flavored whipped cream. Um, and also a vanilla bean. Like I said, if you don't have vanilla beans, you can use vanilla extract, no beta. Okay, so Asher, what do you wanna do? You wanna add the stuff to the mixer? Your favorite part? Okay, why don't you add the cream? Here, come on over closer. She's on a stool, cause you know, she's a little short. All right, don't spill it, will ya? All the way in. Nice, get it all out, shake it. Cool, all right, I'll add the butterscotch just cause it's kind of sticky and I don't wanna make a mess. You can add as little or as much as you want. I'm gonna start with a tablespoon and then I'm gonna swirl more in after the fact, like when it's all whipped and everything. And then I'm just gonna the way I open up my vanilla beans is I take them with a sharp knife and I slice it right in half and I pull it apart and then I don't know how much you can really see but um, I just take the knife and I kind of flatten a piece of it like this and I scrape all the beans out and you see it's like that and they're just they're amazing they're like the best thing ever seriously. And I'm just going to add those right to the bowl. And then I'm going to grab my whisk attachment. You want to put it on up, Asher? No, Asher. <laughs> no, I meant do you want to push the... There you go. <laughs> okay, we're going to start. You want to go to all the way high speed. holds a nice stiff peak. I um, like to whip mine until it's just kind of a soft peak, actually. Hey, what are you doing? She's stealing my whipped cream, what's she thinking? <laughs> okay, 
So that's all done. Now I want to check on our hot chocolate. I think it should be good to go now. I'm just going to get rid of this big mixer here. I want more whipped Yeah, I bet you will. Um, so I'm just going to go check on the hot chocolate and then we'll be right back. mugs here and we're going to top it with some whipped cream and I've got these cute little gold stars that Asher found. They're edible like gold stars. I just bought them on Amazon. Um, really easy to find if you are interested in them. You probably have them in your grocery store but we don't have anything in our grocery store because we live in a small little ski town so I Amazon everything. Okay but anyways so I'm just going to take the top off. <laughs> to be a fox, huh? Um, I thought about animals and then I thought of a fox and we found a really cute fox online, a really cute fox costume online. you want and then you can add the gold stars. Do you want to add extra butterscotch sauce to this? That's perfect. Okay. Add a little bit and add your gold stars. Do you want a little more whipped cream on top of yours? Mm -hmm. Well I probably shouldn't add the gold stars, huh? Because we're doing more whipped cream. Okay now add the gold stars. <laughs> You're gonna lick that off your arm? Yeah. Alright, Ash, are you ready to try these? They're looking uh -huh. pretty good. Yo, oh, Ash, we forgot about the pretzels. Red, bring those over here. Oh, man. Alright, so you guys, I made these cute little pretzels here. They mean, they sort of kind of look like, you know, broomsticks. Sort of, kind of, I don't know. But I think they're pretty cute. And we made them to kind of. What? I'm trying to tell everybody about them. What are you doing? <laughs> like, what's up with you? Right, fine, you can have one. But seriously, aren't they cute? They're like little broomsticks and you can kind of like dip them in your hot chocolate or whatever or whatnot. Like that. It's just like more chocolate and salt and like yum. So yeah, you got some broomstick pretzels and we got our butterbeer hot chocolate and Ash is just going to town over here apparently. All right, will you try this already? Let's try this, come on. No, you have to try it, like take a sip. <laughs> you can't just eat the whipped cream. What are you on your mind? Can we take a sip now, please? It's not hot, I promise. I tried it. Mmm. That is so good. Will you try it, please? I don't know. She's afraid of it being hot because last time she took a sip, it burned her tongue. Um, but these are so good, and I really hope that you guys try them. It's such an easy recipe. Really fun for Halloween and a kid's party or anything like that. Obviously, leave the bourbon out if you're gonna make it for kids. Um, but otherwise, it's really fun and super easy, like I said. And I hope you guys try it, and thanks for tuning in for another video. And Ash and I will see you later. Oh, and don't forget the pretzels like